I can't believe he just paid with his hand. Like you just literally put your hand up I, and you're good to go. Like that's crazy. Hi, my name's Charlie Warzel. I'm a senior writer with BuzzFeed News. And uh, in order to see what the future of money looks like, I decided to live for a month uh, just paying for things with my phone. And somewhere along the line, I ended up getting a microchip implanted inside my hand to see if I could be uh, the first person in the world to uh, pay for something out in the real world using uh, just their hand. I basically wanted to try to uh, download as many apps onto my phone as possible and make sure that uh, I could use alternative currencies and uh, try to skirt cash or credit cards in any way possible. You know, using your phone as a payment method, we call that a proximity mobile payment. And we estimate that by the end of 2016, U.S. adults will spend $27 billion using their phone at the point of sale. But you look at that in the context in hard volumes, I mean, that's a pretty small drop in the bucket. Hey there, do you guys, uh, do you guys accept Apple Pay or any of like the card reader things for your phone? You can't buy anything here, right? Okay. All right, thank you very much. When you're only using your phone to pay for things, you find that you're sort of pushed to two extremes. Really big chain stores or really small niche kind of overpriced coffee shops and places like that. A couple weeks into my experiment, uh, I ended up going to Sweden. Sweden happens to be way far ahead of the United States when it comes to uh, getting rid of cash. I ended up uh, meeting with some people who are really active in the biohacking community and found that you could actually implant an RFID NFC chip in your hand. So take a deep breath with me and exhale. And so I figured if I could put it in my hand, maybe I'd be able to pay for something with my hand. That was it. Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Keep breathing. How's it feel? It's like pinchy. It definitely hurt like way more than they said it was going to. It looks sort of like a grain of rice or like a pill that's in my hand. I think the idea of using a microchip implant in one's hand to be able to make a payment, I do question the mainstream application of it, but I really think there might be other ways where that might come to fruition, not necessarily through like a surgical implant, but uh, you know, through other kind of integrations with the body. So once everything healed, I decided that I needed to start focusing on how to make this chip work. And I really wanted to become the first person to ever pay for a meal at a restaurant with their hand. Eventually I stumbled across a Venmo engineer who uh, said that he could help me uh, with my task. What they decided is that they would put my Venmo uh, unique user ID onto my chip, which would basically make it so that any phone would recognize my hand as a Venmo app. <laughs> I'm gonna write your secret token for Venmo, and you're gonna go up there, they're gonna scan your hand, put how much we owe, that's it. Takes a second. Here we go. Sir, you're good to go. That was so sick, dude. That's amazing. That was sick. Yes! That was gnarly. That, that was insane. insane. We actually accomplished what we set out to do, and I kind of couldn't believe that it was ever going to happen. Like, I thought I got this thing jammed in my hand for nothing. My hand is paying for everything today. If the wallet is here, and your phone is sort of a healthy middle ground, something like the chip felt to me like the furthest possible extreme of you know, futuristic technology. The challenge with mobile payments is that, it, especially in the US, it's so easy to use cards. After doing this experiment, uh, I would bet that in about 10 years, it's kind of abnormal to carry around a wallet that's just stuffed full of cash. That's insane. Can you get the hands? What's next, can you get the foot? <laughs> <laughs>